Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all you crew members out there, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to Spent Too Much Diecast. All right, not sure if I want to have the light on or off, but I guess we'll see. All right, so we have finally received it. I've actually had it for about two weeks now. I'm getting to this video. It should be an awesome unboxing. All right, so this thing has, I've had this thing on pre-order for about three, four, five months now. <clears throat> I bought mine through Amazon. Not sure if <clears throat> they were ever on the Jada site, or I think there might have been available at the convention. Not 100% sure. This is the Jada next level version so every once in a while they put out some next level cars which are supposed to be like exclusive for them that aren't sold in stores anything like this so this is the 124th scale of the lamborghini gallardo from fast x and these are all actually limited to 4300 so i know when people started receiving them we have been seeing a bunch of numbers so i actually bought two of them I have 1,604, and then I have another one that's like 528. So I do have a low number. I'm going to hold on to my low number for now. Um, I'll probably end up selling it, um, especially with it being under 1,000 and just over 500. That should be a good one. Um, I've seen most of them range in like the 1,200. Uh, have, I think the lowest number I saw was like 300 and something. So I did buy mine on Amazon not sure where other people were able to find them um third party sites are jacking the prices up on this so msrp this is a 60 dollar car so i know i've seen them on ebay for you know over 100 over 200 over 300 not sure if they're still available on amazon but that is where i did purchase it like i said msrp was 59.99 for this and it's supposed to be gold plated so we're going to go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a closer look at it. I'm actually going to unbox it live with you guys just so we can see it. That way, if anybody is interested to see what it looks like, that weren't able to get one or is not going to open theirs, they can definitely see it here. And then I will have a comparison. There was another version of this, which was gold. So I want to make sure you guys know the difference so you don't get um, taken by buying the cheaper one, thinking it is the better one. So, this did come, like I said, from Amazon. It was shipped in a paper bag, but um, it's a harder box. So, hopefully, everything is all right. The box isn't damaged at all. Um, so, I guess let's just go ahead and crack this thing open. It does have a plastic film on it. So here we go. This is going to be the first time opening it. Like I said, usually I unbox my stuff off camera because it's easier. But because this is such a high-end item, and I know a lot of people wanted to see what it looks like. Here it is. So the sticker is on the inside of the box. Here it goes. Slow motion. All right, so it looks like it opens from the top. Oh, and there is your car. So it sits in there pretty nicely. I really hope that because this is such a high-end car, we're not gonna have any blemishes or anything on it. So I'm gonna tip it upside down. All right, so it looks like that's how it sits in. There is the base plate. If you can probably get this out, it'll sit. All right, so it pops out. There is your plastic. We'll put that back in the box. We will close the box up. So these things should be 
um, saran wrapped when you get them because they do come in plastic wrap. Um, if you have it without plastic wrap, I would be cautious because the vehicle could have been opened already. And here we go. Maybe we'll put the light on for this. All right, so they have it wrapped in like a paper kind, almost like a uh, like parchment paper. And there is the vehicle. There it is. So it is a chrome gold plated. I would almost say in the movie, didn't wasn't it like really shiny like this? It was almost gold plated. So that is pretty cool. We have seen Fast and the Furious cars way back in the day when they were made by Ertl, done in a chrome plating. But this is the first time Jada has released this as like the next level car. And it is the Gallardo. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, let's take a look at the bottom first. So we have an item number of 34596 scale 124 Lamborghini Gallardo. And the bottom is just um, plastic. All right, so of course the front end, all this chrome is die cast. You have the plastic inserts. You have the plastic for the lights. There's the Lamborghini logo. All right, we have the Lamborghini wheels with orange calipers and the gray slotted rotors. inside so it looks like they did plate everything the door jams and all that are plated pretty good um there's a look at the inside nothing really it does have gauges back there chrome pedals but then everything else inside is just plastic now with it being this higher end model it would have been really cool if they detailed the interior like i don't know what the car looked like in the movie but even if they just did two-tone seats or something like that that would have been awesome especially for the fact that it's this like high-end um casting and then the side mirrors are painted um gold they're not the same gold chrome and they are the like the rubbery type so hopefully nothing is missing on this vehicle there is the back tire all right going to the back you got plastic for the Tail lights, all these inserts here are plastic, plastic chrome exhaust, does say Lamborghini on there, no license plate. Of course, this is the motor, so we'll open that later. Then taking a look at the passenger side. Again, the same, like I said, it would have been cool to see some detail in there. All right, the bonnet should open. back there now again it would have been cool if they put detail in the motor giving it two-tone or something like that and what do we have all right so we have some detail um it doesn't open that far but you do have the um lamborghini written on the heads and a little bit of um silver paint where the um intakes would be so actually not too bad like i said oh the oil cap actually does say oil on it so i guess i like it like i said i wish the rest of the car had some more detail to it so there it is guys there is the gold plated lamborghini gallardo from fast x scale 124th put out by jada which is part of the next level series. I mean, this would even been cool if they had like um, die cast wheat, like rims and stuff like that. Like I think they could have gone a lot better, especially at being $60. I mean, I don't know how much it costs to get it gold plated like this, but it would have been really cool if we saw some better details in it, kind of like the higher end, um, castings we get all right now i just want to do this quick comparison for you guys just so you know the difference because i know a lot of people are like well they already have a gold one out there which is a lot cheaper which is true 
So this right here is the Lamborghini Gallardo from Fast X. This is the basic version, which would be like your average $14.99 car that Jada usually puts out for the 124th. So you can see a big difference. So make sure when you're buying these, they're not listing the gold chrome one as this gold one, or else you're gonna be very disappointed. Or like I said, hopefully nobody switches them out or anything like that. But here is the gold one. We did do a video on this. If you wanna go back and check it out to see what it looks like, go ahead and do that. Again, it's basically, I mean, the same interior is the interior in that one. Um, even the motor, it's exactly the same motor, same detail, um, exhaust wise, everything. So basically the only difference is they took all the innards and even the wheels. It's the same wheels. The rotors on this one is a little bit more orange than these. Um, but basically you're just paying for this chrome, gold chrome plated car. So just to let you guys know, there is two different versions. So make sure when you're buying them, if you have to buy them third party, you're not getting scammed because I can see that happening, definitely. So there is the unboxing. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. We do a bunch of different unboxings here on the channel. If you haven't joined the crew, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew, hit the bell notification, give this video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. I appreciate all the crew members out there already who like, share, comment, all that good stuff. We're growing the channel more. I got Jada cars for you guys, don't worry. I know we've been doing a lot of Hot Wheels, Matchbox, stuff like that, but I do got some Jada cars coming out. Um, if you guys saw my, saw my short, we are they are coming out with a line of Porsches for Jada and all those other stuff. We still got all the character cars all that good stuff so join the crew we will be doing more unboxings also check out our sales page cream city diecast that helps put more diecast back here to the channel and you guys can get um cars that you might need for your collection and all that good stuff um also check out our facebook join that we're almost at a thousand followers on there so that would be awesome but again thank you thank you thank you crew I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.